Hi everybody, welcome back. I am Sir Drink Salon, and this is Lap It Up, my drink review series. And today's drink is brought to you by Chameleon Cold Brew Vanilla. Vanilla coffee right there. Got a little right chameleon right there. Traditional facts. Nice and clear. One serving per container, 296 milliliters, usually 50, 50 calories. Zero, zero sodium, 12 grams mm -hmm. of carbs. Seven of those are from sugars. This is a uh, calcium, 20 milligrams, potassium, 220 milligrams. Vanilla cold brew. A warm, uh, <clears throat> well rounded vanilla flavor and a bit of organic sugar make this cold brew coffee a real crowd pleaser any time of day. You'll stay organic in coffee. Uh, air roasted. Organic, consciously crafted, cold brewed takes commitment. We source organic beans and carefully air roasted them to deliver low acid, super smooth coffee every time. Perishable, keep refrigerated. <clears throat> Ready, set, cold brew. If I'm in the middle of recording something, I don't want notifications popping up while I'm recording. That's just my opinion, though. <clears throat> it smells the way my coffee usually would smell. You get a vanilla creamer or something. This doesn't have creamer, but... <clears throat> Yeah, and that's, that's another thing. I did put um, a little bit of cream in the uh, mocha the other day, and it, it tasted good. Um, I probably should have heated it up just to see how it would have been as a, a warmer beverage. But, I said the mocha was good. Today, I thought I would do the vanilla <coughs> and see how it tasted. Let me get out of my horrible driveway but before I do that let me drink a little bit of this bitterness is still there but I mean I'm thinking uh, that it takes away whatever the air roasting is it took away some of the some of that bitterness because I've had just straight up black coffee and several different um, brews and everything. And as always, it's always just like, oh, oh black coffee. Oh, uh, I mean, if you gotta drink, if you gotta have some caffeine and all you've got is coffee, well, that's just what you gotta do, you know? Um, <clears throat> rough, though. Rough for me, anyway. I don't know about anybody else. But uh, it is, it's, a, it's a rough thing. It's a lot of fun. Foggy day today. Foggy and froggy. That's that. That's how we do. And honestly, I can say that I don't like this as much as the mocha. <coughs> it's not as a <coughs> strong, I guess. Um, mocha was strong enough to kind of take away from the uh, water, watery coffee flavor. Because it really tastes like watered down coffee a little bit in this instance where it doesn't have the full bean flavor because I guess the air roast seems to take away some of that, some of that tartness. But I did know, I did hear somewhere, and I tried this, and it was actually, it did, it did work for me. Um, when you're doing grounds and you're doing your own little coffee thing, a uh, pinch of salt and uh, like a, a little bit of cinnamon uh, when, you're, when you're doing just black coffee. And that uh, will uh, cut away the tartness and add a little bit of smoothness to the coffee that you brew. It turned out really well. Um, I was very impressed. I used Folgers Black Silk and uh, that was definitely an interesting combination that turned out really well. I don't know. This leaves 
a bit of a funky taste in the back of my mouth. But it's the same thing if you drink coffee. It's not a horrible thing. Uh, some people who like, legitimately like, un, like uncreamer coffee, just straight black coffee, but even with like a little bit of flavoring to it, might actually enjoy this. Um, this is just not as smooth as I care for my, my drinks. Um, it's, it's a little bitter. But definitely, I can say that it is not as bitter as I would have expected a... Uh, just a regular coffee with some vanilla added into it, you know. Um, it's not bad. It just feels. It tastes a little hollow, like it's there's something that should be there. So, not really. But it's it's not okay. It's definitely not a bad thing. And you know me, I'm I'm not trying to win points anywhere. None of these drinks, like none of these companies have sponsored me. I've only probably heard from like one or two companies um, before in regards to any of my reviews. And so I, I I always hate the idea. Like I tell you how it is. Like well. I tell you how I feel about it, and the thing is, I've noticed that sometimes whenever I've tried it again, I feel it's going to change over time, but I am going to try to, like, relate it to something that I can feel, and hopefully that kind of clicks with you as well, um, then again, like I said, I've had some people be like, I don't feel you drinking that, I hate that, so, but that's how we do things here. Oh, all right. Uh, on the uh, rating system for this beverage, this this uh, this coffee creation, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a two on the five scale, and I think I'm gonna give this a uh, see. I don't even think cream would help this to, for me. Um, but somebody else might really like this. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four. I I wouldn't put this in my fridge. I if I saw this again, I wouldn't bring it. Just, this is not not my thing. But definitely can't uh, can't hit, hit it hit it on the head bad because it does have flavor. It does say vanilla. It is cold pressed. So I mean, it's doing what it says it's gonna do. I almost want to give it a five for the main three because it is doing what it's supposed to be doing. But it's just ah. Not, not my jam. Not my thing. Anyway, that being said, I hope you are all doing well. And as always, I am Sir Drink Salon, and I am wishing you health, wealth, and love with enough time and gusto to enjoy it all down to the last drop. Bye, guys.